Hi everyone, welcome Mostly Math. Recall the time-dependent Schrodinger equation states that I h bar d psi of x and t by dt is equal to h psi. Now let's talk about h. Okay, h we know is p squared over 2m plus v of x, we know p is minus i h bar d by dx. So this is simply minus h bar squared over 2m d squared by dx squared plus v of x. So we'll go ahead and operate this on psi up here and write a partial differential equation. This is going to be minus h squared squared over 2m partial squared psi by dx squared plus v of x psi. Excellent. This is the partial differential equation we want to solve to derive the time independent Schrodinger equation. We're going to do this by using the first line of attack that a physicist has separation of variables, we're going to let psi of x and t, capital psi, be lowercase psi of x times phi of t. When we do this, we're going to actually change the partial derivatives into the total derivatives. Let's see how. Okay, so we have i h bar on this side, the phi it's going to come out, only act on the psi. Excellent. I h bar phi d. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. So we have I h bar psi d phi by dt is equal to all their sides minus h bar squared over 2m. Then the phi comes out this time. This is a total derivative now. d squared psi by dx squared plus v psi phi. Get it? Psi phi? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to use the standard trick and divide by 1 over psi phi, which would be, say, romance? Who knows? Okay, so we obtain uh, h bar 1 over phi d phi by dt is equal to minus h bar squared over 2m, 1 over psi, d squared psi by dx squared, plus v. Now at this point, we're going to use the standard trick and note that this side is a function of t only, and this side is a function of x only. And for two different functions of two different variables to be equal to each other, Standard technique is to say that they both have to be constant and actually equal to the same constant, which we're going to call E here. Excellent. And now we can go ahead and find the time and space equations separately. Start with the time equation, it's not as important. So for the time equation, we have our h bar, 1 over phi d phi by dt is equal to e. Now we're going to multiply both sides by phi here to obtain d phi by dt is equal to minus i e over h bar phi, which we know from an ordinary differential equations class that we're going to have an exponential solution. So phi of t is just going to be equal to e to the minus i e over h bar t. Notice we put equal since we're going to absorb the arbitrary multiplicative constant into psi later. Okay, done the time equation. Let's go ahead and look at the space equation now. This one will be the important one. Okay, space equation says that minus h bar squared over 2m, 1 over psi, t squared psi by dx squared plus v of x is equal to e. Go ahead and multiply both sides by psi. Let's go over 2m. d 
b squared psi by dx squared plus v psi is equal to e psi. We should notice that we have the same Hamiltonian from the first part with the partial derivative replaced by ordinary derivative. So we're going to write, we have an eigenvalue equation, h psi is equal to e psi. And we're done. This is actually the time independent Schrodinger equation. And you can see pretty easily that this contains all of the important details about the quantum system in general. Since to obtain the total system, psi of x and t, all we have to do is multiply this by the time phase that we found earlier. So the complete solution, capital psi of x and t, is just the wave function, which we're calling psi, that we found earlier, multiplied e to the minus i e t over h bar. So for these special states, known as stationary states, we can obtain all the info simply by solving the time independent Schrodinger equation, multiplying by the time phase here. It should be noted that these stationary states do not comprise all the solutions of the time dependent Schrodinger equation, the partial differential equation, but they are extremely important since you can actually sum together infinitely many stationary states to obtain any state that you want. And if you enjoy this, want to see more, perhaps me plugging some potentials into the Schrodinger equation, maybe some unusual ones that you don't usually see in a quantum physics book. Well then, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll be seeing you next time.